everyone. My name is Rote. I'm one of the creators of Atlas. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Atlas to manage your Microsoft SQL Server database schemas. Atlas is a modern schema management tool that lets you manage your database schema as code. You can think about it kind of like a Terraform, but for your database. Okay, let's start this is a demo to show how you can use Atlas to manage your SQL Server uh, database schema as code. So let's start by just showing that we have two SQL Server and Docker containers running. The one that we are interested in is this one running on port 1433, which uh, is will serve as our uh, production database. We have a bit of a configuration that I just want to show you. You don't need to understand it at this point. But we have a local environment. The desired state of our database is in the file called SQL, uh, schema.sql. And the URL of our database is uh, this local container. The desired schema of our database is represented by these create table statements. We will use it to define the desired state of the database. And let's see how we can uh, now use it to manage our database schema. So we can run a Atlas schema apply against our local environment. What will happen is Atlas will connect to our database and calculate a diff between the desired state of a database in these statements and the current state, which is empty, and uh, prompt us if we want to apply. Let's do this once. And we see that if we run the uh, schema apply statement again, the command again, the schema is synced and no changes need to be made. Now let's show that we are able to modify the schema and get Atlas to uh, generate uh, schema migrations for us. So let's add this uh, uh, bio column. And we expect when we run schema apply, Atlas will connect to the database, notice that this column is missing and suggest this plan for us. And we can see that indeed this alter table statement will reconcile uh, the current and desired state for us. Let's run it again. And we can see this already works. Atlas has many uh, more cool features that you can use to manage your database. For example, the Atlas schema inspect command, which uh, tells Atlas to connect the database and then output the current schema in various formats. For example, we can use the default option, which uh, outputs uh, the schema in the Atlas data and definition language, which is very similar to Terraform. In addition, we can use the JSON flag, which will output the schema as a JSON document. Finally, we can use the uh, web flag, which publishes the schema to Atlas Cloud. Very cool. Okay, this sums up our video on how to get started with Microsoft SQL Server and Atlas. If you want to get started right away, below this video, you will find a link to a guide showing you step-by-step -step exactly what to do. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Atlas, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.